Good afternoon, my friends. For Matt Meisenbacher, I am John Scudris. Welcome to the BBN's coverage of the 51st Annual Codfish Bowl Classic as UMass takes on the SUNY Brockport Golden Eagles. Beacons looking for something. A backhanded pass into the slot is errant of anybody in white. Meanwhile, here comes the Golden Eagles trying to soar into the offensive zone, and it's both checked away on a nice play by Bishop. Send right out in front, they score! What a feed in front from Keelich to Herleman, and the defender from Hilton, New York, makes it one nothing SUNY Brockport on the Beacons Broadcasting Network. Nice play there, right on the tape, coming out of the corner. We've seen this time and time. We'll try to get things going here as we move along. Good poke check by Thompson, three on one. He's got a couple of good goal scores. There's Lindsay rebound, they score! No, that one wide of the net. As it looked like Thompson thought it was in, but somehow that trickled wide, and now a two on two the other way. Here come the Eagles. That one good play blocked down in front by Gallagher, and see Colin Larkin, our player to watch, back in in front, he's got a man backhand and never getting that one off was Lemire. That one shot wide of the net, right out to the side of the net where Augustine takes the point and scores! Somehow that puck got in from the side of the net. Not sure how, but UMass Boston and I believe Frankie D'Augustine has tied the game at one. Yeah, I'm going to give that to the Augustine as well. It was Crawford. D to D feed after the faceoff win and getting that one right up in the face is D'Augustine. It sets up the team's leading goal scorer. It was like they sets up Kangas and the Williamstown, Massachusetts native has given the visiting Brockport Golden Eagles a 2-1 lead. And UMass Boston, an opportunity the other way. Derek Colucci had a chance for a breakaway, but he couldn't corral the pass. That's been the story of this line's afternoon. Gannon, Colucci, and Santa Pass just have not been on the right page at the right time. As his Santa Pass are looking, turning the page to another chapter as this one is sent wide by the big six foot five inch freshman. I was saying while you were uh, not in the booth, the Beacons top line just five and 11 on faceoffs today. They have to do a better job than that and they did on that one winning it as Lemire has an opportunity to set something up. Spin around, please, they score! What a look from Matt Lemire. He hits Frankie D'Augustine, his team leading eighth shot of the day and team leading second goal of the afternoon. And you have Boston just 13 has even did up at two. John, that play is based totally on two things, chemistry and talent. Matt Lemire, trusting his ability to make a play, does 95 seconds left here in regulation time. Santa Pass gets the backhanded feed from Miller, but is unable to maintain possession as it's cleared. And now coming forward with it is Keelish. Keelish is able to find Kangas. Kangas is shot, he scores! A rising shot from Ryan Kangas, his second goal of the game, his third point of the afternoon. And with 82 seconds to go, the Beacons are on the verge of getting eliminated in round one yet again. 10 seconds left, kept in on side. The Augustine's already got two, looking for a hat trick and a game tire wide of the net. Miller shot deflected, three seconds left, Bishop shot deflected wide. And in upset fashion, the Blockport Golden Eagles are headed to the Codfish Bowl Championship game. They defeat the UMass Boston Beacons on a three-point day from Ryan Kangas by the final score of three to two.